March the 4th, 2020. As you're looking at a JPL model, this is uh, called Comet Thatcher. C1861G1 on the model data itself. And it was, it's been seen once um, that's been recorded that we know. Uh, and that was in 1861. In this diagram, you can see that uh, it's not like an inner solar system comet that you've seen before, an asteroid that goes out, say, to the orbit of Jupiter and then orbits every four or five years back through here. This is a 415-year orbit. And why am I talking about it now? A couple of reasons. It's the pair uh, object of the Lyrid media showers. It's coming up uh, April 15th into that night up into uh, for about four or five days there up into the 22nd, I think. Anyway, that's will be the peak area of it. And what's happening is the Earth is going to travel right through the debris trail that this comet is left behind on March the 16th. Right in that area is when we're going to start seeing the Earth orbit. Let me get this closer, guys. You got the sun in the center, Mercury, Venus in purple, and the Earth is in blue. And as the Earth is moving this way, and we're going to uh, go forward in this timestamp, we're going to pass through the debris trail. And these comets, as they come in close to the sun, the uh, long years of being in space and then the slingshot effect, which has uh, got to, a lot to do with G-force, just like in a, a plane, you, the slingshot effect is it. It's closer to the sun and then it's thrown back or slingshotted back into space. can do a lot of structural damage and they can break apart. And we've seen it before. But uh, each time the uh, debris trail that the earth passes through the debris trail every year, we go through some thin segments of it. Sometimes we go through some heavier, more clustered segments. And that's when you start getting into the 100 meteor per hour uh, showers. Now, just a shout out to a lot of my friends, and uh, you watch Monty Graph, and uh, Monty's kind of onto this thing of maybe it's some type of celestial event around April fifteenth, right in that area. So it's uh, interesting, uh, and uh, we always kind of watch the meteor showers here anyway. But again, the comet four hundred fifteen year um, orbit. Uh, no one in our lifetime has ever seen it. It was uh, seen one time, and they took uh, during that section of when they could see it they took the data arc span and looked at the angles and they could determine how far it goes out into space and when it returned would return and things like that but as we step this four in days you can see at the bottom we're now uh to march the 16th earth is approaching that uh, meteor shower path let me turn it we can kind of get a better angle on it right there guys again we're up to uh april the 4th so right in the time when certain people are watching for certain events that could be happening and again uh money graph has a lot of information there check this out the earth will be approaching it right there this is 421 that's going to be the peak of it we ju it's just past the earth is almost at the peak at that point now, again, this is a model, but if we'll step back, we, the debris uh, shower first is much wider than a single line like that. That's just the center of the orbit path, and these things can be thousands of miles wide. Again, different thicknesses depending on the section of the debris trail you're in. But if we go back to four, let's just back it up to the uh, 15th. Right there. Here's your time stamp, guys, and in the bottom right there. Okay. On the 15th, we're starting to approach it. The 16th, which is here, again, time stamp, that's when they're saying we're going to start seeing these meteor showers as, they're, as the Earth is plowing through this debris trail. So I just wanted to bring that up. The Lyriads, uh, one thing about this year, we're going to have a very bright moon. Okay, and that's going to really limit the amount of uh, meteors you can see because, uh, again, light interference. And what they're saying is Thatcher is the source of the Lyrid meteors. Every year in late April, our planet Earth crosses the orbital path of the comet. We have no photos of it because its orbit around the sun is roughly 415 years. Thatcher last, vi last visited the inner solar system in 1861. That's where the name comes from. That's before the phot photographic process became widespread. This comet isn't expected to return until the year 2276, quite a while. 
but just think about how close it will come to our planet. Bits and pieces shed by this comet litter its orbit and bombard the Earth's upper atmosphere at 110,000 miles per hour, or 177,000 kilometers an hour. The, va the vaporizing debris streaks the nighttime with medium-fast meteors. It's when Earth passes through an unusually thick clump of comet rubble that an elevated number of meteors can be seen. And then, th again, this article is for this year's meteor shower. I'll pull this up, uh, 2020. And you can go to Earth Sky and read more about it. But, uh, again, just interesting that, um, again, um, Monty Graph, I think, is the main one pointing this out, that there could possibly be some coding in effect for an event at this time. We, we're going to watch it. It's going to be a neat meteor shower either way. Maybe we'll have clear weather by the end instead of this constant rain. But uh, just wanted to point that out, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.